So this is Maslow's gig, right? Maslow is uh, very popular amongst uh, testing, at least in my department and some other departments. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. Are you guys familiar with Maslow's hierarchy? Yeah. I'm going to try to explain this a little bit. So the first step is the psychological needs. You've got to have air, food, water, shelter, you know. You've got to have all, did that thing just burp at me? <laughs> so you, you have to have all of this stuff, right? Did it really? See? Never leave your PowerPoint alone at the firehouse. <laughs> Guys are always messing. I'm going to tell you right now, if there's naked pictures up there, I didn't put them in there, okay? <laughs> So th this is just the normal stuff that everybody has to have, right? So we move forward from there to Maslow's second step, which is all about safety, security, and order, right? So if I have to have safety, security, and order, training at the firehouse, at home, I mean, look at the employment, all of the stuff that we have, family, friends, I mean, unless you're at a toxic firehouse, this is our family. This is us. I, I, I tried to explain to you guys about the things that we should be grateful for, the blessings that we have. I mean, look around the room. This, this is amazing. Your rank, your assignments, and the SOGs. Micah talked about how his radio melted. And I'm going to keep referring back to him because seldom do I get the opportunity to do this. So I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to reference with regards to what he's been teaching or his lecture. He talked about his radio melted, and who was it? Was it Bones or somebody that uh, called the Mayday? Jackie. Jackie called the Mayday, all right? So Jackie called the Mayday, and he said, what? You guys remember? He didn't call it the way that they want it to, per SOGs, right? Well, if you don't have the proper training and have never set your people up for that, that's not going to happen. I don't care if you call a lunar or a who, what, when, or whatever. It's all about the repetitions and all about the training. We'll come back to that. But that's why the second step is so important, because you can't move to the third step without it, which is social affection, belonging, and acceptance. Come on. Anybody here ever go on vacation, drive somewhere outside of here? Just raise your hands for me, OK? And then you see one of these. Ah, look, there's a brother or a sister right there. And you're like, hey, hey, hey. And so you try to speed up so they can see your bumper sticker. Hey, look at mine, you know? <laughs> I'm a fireman, what's up, bro, you know? Um, so, and, and that's what that's all about, right? That's the brotherhood. This is the brotherhood, it's what we're talking about, okay? So, when you're getting to certain aspects of things, like um, the, show, the social aspect is very important because human beings are social creatures. That's what we are. Um, we do things, and we do things in groups. Um, if you're singled out or you're left alone, You'll go cuckoo. That's, that's why solitary confinement is so effective when people go to prison. Don't ask me how I know that. I just watch a lot of TV, OK? <laughs> so the fourth step is esteem and status, OK? This is where things start to get very cool because it's about being promoted, all right? Um, it's about the awards that you get. It's about the mastery of a skill set. Um, when you're that guy and you're part of, or that girl and you're part of an elite unit, um, yeah, man, we thump our chest. That's because, you know why? Because you should have pride in accomplishing those things. You should. Pride is often confused with another word called arrogance. And it's not the way it works in the fire service. So, the fifth step, self-actualization. Um, self-actualization is that epiphany. It's all about the love. It's just a clear sense of the truth. You may not be able to explain it, but you understand it. It resonates deep, deep, deep within. So self-actualization, this is where leadership comes into play. If you're climbing that ladder, psychologically, this is just you know, an explanation of Maslow. So as you're climbing that ladder, what you're getting to is you're developing leadership traits. You know, those are things that you live. That's not just something that you bark at somebody. That's why Paul Combs always writes that stuff with the guy with the badge and he's sticking it out there. Check this out, bro. That's right, I'm a leader. No, you just got a really big badge on your bony little chest, you know? And, and so developing those leadership traits, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of effort, okay? Um, 
in Maslow to achieve mastery of the self. You know, you're going to have vision, you're going to inspire, and you're going to influence. This is about leadership. See, because leaders can manage. Managers can't lead, though. 